Hello, welcome back to Garden Obsessed. My name is Carla. It is a rainy, freezing day today. Um, I've just brought Lola out to pee and then we're headed straight back inside. Um, but while I'm out here, I wanted to pick a few daffodils. All right, it is a little later in the morning. Lola and I did our business outside and we are um, nice and cozy inside now. I've got my iced coffee, how I start my day pretty much every day. Um, <clears throat> and I'm a little more awake now. <laughs> so there are a few things that I wanted to talk about today. So this is gonna be kind of a mishmash video. Um, I hope you're okay with that, but there's dahlias, so stick around for that. Um, but I think the first thing that I wanted to talk about is I got a new phone. So <clears throat> I use computers a lot when I'm working and when I get home, I don't like to use them. So we do not have a computer at home. Um, Jarrett has like an ancient 10 year old laptop that occasionally he will use for, you know, his, his stuff. But um, I typically only use my phone. Um, <clears throat> I've upgraded a four or five year old phone to a new phone um, and I do all of my filming and editing on that. So I hope that the video and sound um, quality improves for you guys. Um, you know, I've been doing this for a little while now. Not, you know, greatly, but um, I'm hoping that going forward, things will improve and the video quality and the sound will be a lot better. Um, I have tried the external hard drives, or hard drives, external uh, microphones. I find I don't like it. If you forget to turn it on, which I'm prone to do, um, you lose a lot of the audio, so um, not gonna go there. And my glasses are kind of bothering me, so I'm gonna just take those off for this video. So. <clears throat> I can't see what I'm doing anymore, so just stick with me here, people. Um, so that's the first thing. Already, I can notice a huge difference in the video quality and just the little snippet that I took this morning when we were outside, I think the audio is better as well. So thank you for being patient over the previous however many videos and thanks for sticking with me and hopefully things are to drastically improve as we go forward. The other thing, um, well, one of the other things that I wanted to talk about um, was, I know I had said I wasn't ordering dahlias except for maybe, um, you know, a local grower this year. <clears throat> that grower actually decided to not have local pickup this year. So I didn't, I didn't order any, any dahlias from them. Um, you know, they're my hometown and I couldn't justify spending, you know, um, $30 in shipping, you know, for, you know, they're 20 minutes away and in the town that I'm in, you know, for, on a frequent basis. So hopefully next year they will have local pickup again. I'm not sure if there were issues last year with it. I don't know why they decided not to do it this year, but that's how, what they did. Um, <clears throat> there is a Delia Society, excuse me. 
There is a Dahlia Society sale coming up soon. I think it's this weekend that I have wanted to go to. I've never gone to it. Um, and Dahlia's are typically extremely affordable there. Um, but I think I have my hands full this year. It is an hour away where they do the sale. And so I think I'm going to pass on that. But I did buy some new dahlias this year. So um, one of our former students whom I am extremely fond of, I love her to death. Um, I believe she worked with us for three or four years. I think it was four years, at least four years. Um, that was several years ago now. But, um, you know, she grew up on a farm and her family has started. This was their first year selling um, dahlia tubers. So they are Greener Pastures Farms. Um, their website is greenerpasturesns.ca, I do believe. Um, and they sold tubers for the first time this spring. So I really wanted to support them. Um, I didn't bother going on right when the sale opened. She has a lot of um, highly desirable tubers. Um, and I knew like, you know, the daily awards last year just did me in. So I was like, I want no part of that. So I waited a few hours until a lot of those, um, you know, extremely, um, hard to get tubers were, you know, were gone. And then I was like, I'll go on and pick up a few things that, um, I would like to have. So I did that and I received her order yesterday and she threw in some bonus, um, tubers, which was wonderful and so kind of her. I haven't met her in person. Her name is Jen, but um, we've chatted a little bit online. And like I said, I, I've known one of her children for quite a number of years now and heard Madeline talk about their family and everything over that time. And, you know, they're just really nice, really nice people. So I will share with you what I purchased um, from her. I have her little card here that came with the tubers. It's super adorable. Um, I don't know how to make it focus. There we go. Um, I believe it was one of her children. One of her children is like an amazing artist and I think she designed the logo and I believe she did all of the photography. So there's only one Delia that I'm gonna tell you that I got that they didn't have the photo from, from their website. So I did get that from Swan Island, I think, but I'll throw up photos that she had on her website. So these are all her flowers and her photos. Um, and anyway, super exciting. I'm so happy for them. I hope it's a huge success. And I think it was because she did sell out of many of the varieties like, you know, on day one. So um, <clears throat> I've got my list here. So without my glasses, this might be a little tricky, but we will see what we can do here. So the first one is Snowho Sonia. So it's a small three inch ball dahlia. It's a light lavender color and it's on the shorter side. The plant gets three feet high. Um, I'm super stoked to get this one. I don't have a lot of lavenders and purples in my collection. So I wanted to like increase that this year and I think it will be a beautiful addition and balls are like you know one of my favorites balls and water lilies man you can't go wrong with those so um the next one that I ordered was Shiloh Jasmine which is a white informal decorative and it kind of has I think I've heard it described as like a candlelight glow it has like a warm yellow deep center that kind of looks like it's glowing um they're four to five inch blooms and the plants are quite a bit taller. They are five feet tall. Guys, I have to put my glasses on for this. I can't, I can't see my notes. <clears throat> so the next one is Silver Years and this was a replacement. Um, I had grown Silver Years two years ago um, overwintered them and last year I think I had four or five tubers and none of them developed eyes so it's one I really like um, it is a water lily type it's kind of a blush pink mine was on the wetter side I'm curious to see what the coloring is on this new tuber because I've seen some that are a lot more pink and some that are a lot more white there tends to be a little variety there they are four inch blooms and the plants get four feet high 
Um, the next one is Holly Hill Black Beauty. Um, <clears throat> I really wanted this one. I had a mix up last year and I don't know if it's Black Beauty or Black Widow that I have. So I really like the Black Beauty. I wanted to ensure that I had it. So I did go ahead and order one of those. It is a dark red informal decorative. It, you know, some consider it a black dahlia. Um, it's got four to six inch blooms and the plant is five feet high. Um, Cornell Bronze is an awesome, awesome dahlia. Um, it's kind of a unique copper color and it can tend to lean pink in some situations. Um, it's, it's one of the standard, like every, every flower farmer that you see will talk about Cornell Bronze. Um, it's a three inch ball and the plants are four feet high. Uh, Cheers is one that I didn't order, but it is, it looks amazing. It is um, a dark blend of kind of corals and pinks. It's a three inch informal decorative and it gets five feet high and it looks super interesting. I'm super glad she sent me that one. Um, Jowie Winnie has been on my list for several years. Um, and it's one of those ones that it just seems to sell out fast. Um, it's kind of a dusty pink color. It's a four inch ball and the plants are four feet tall. Snowho Doris. So same breeders as Snowho Sonia. This one is like an apricot color ball and it's color can be kind of variable as well. So um, the blooms are four inches and the plants are four feet high. Gets Crazy looks super interesting. So it is a seven inch dark blend stellar form, which is one I don't think um, I have any stellars. Um, it has kind of bronze tops to the petals and the undersides of the petals are purple. So I don't have any kind of dual color um, dahlias like that. So I'm also super stoked about this one. Um, <clears throat> and the last one that I received was Aubergine. So it is a purple anemone. I only have two anemones, I think, Polka, which I didn't see bloom last year, and Mexico, which I've had for several years. And I love, I love the anemones. Um, the only problem I seem to have with the anemones that I've experienced so far is that their stems are a little weaker. I don't know if that's because the blooms are like quite heavy. The centers can be very floofy and dense, um, but we'll see if this one's different. Um, so it's a two inch bloom on a three foot plant. I do find that they're, um, you know, the anemone types or at least the ones that I have grown, I'm no expert, like I've grown two before, they tend to be on the shorter side. So, these are, I think these I will incorporate, you know, more into the landscape this year. Um, and I think they'll do better there. Those tend to be sunny locations where they won't be overcrowded by some of the other um, dahlia plants and things. So I think that will actually work out really well. So those are the dahlias I said I wasn't going to purchase this year. And, you know, I ended up with some. So on to the next things that I wanted to share. So... I've just been loving local artisans lately. Um, there's a company that I want to talk about, but first I want to talk about my dear, dear neighbor. Um, she was my childhood neighbor. She lived across the street from my parents for, I don't even know how long, it must be like 30 years. And they recently downsized. So they sold their house in March and they've moved not very far away, like maybe five kilometers away, um, you know, into a smaller, smaller place. And she was a beautiful potter. She is a beautiful potter. Um, when they were downsizing, um, she had, <clears throat> she knew how much I loved her stuff. And I have quite a few pieces of hers from over the years um, that I've collected. And she knew how big of a fan I was. And so she packed up a tote for me with some items in it. And I did film that, she gave that to me in March and I did film a little bit there and never showed you guys. So I will go ahead and show you that in a minute. But 
one of the things that she gave me is, I think this was one of the ones that was hanging in her garden. She made this gorgeous garden girl here who I'm totally in love with. I think she needs a name. So like guys, if you have any ideas, she needs some kind of a name and I'm gonna hang her so she can either greet me when I come to the garden or overlook the garden or something. I haven't 100% decided where to hang her, but she's definitely, definitely gonna be um, included in the garden this year. But <clears throat> um, it, it just amazes me the talent that exists, you know, in people that you know, right? Like, um, anyway, I, I was very, very touched by that sentiment. And the older I get, the more I want to support, you know, the people around me, right? Like, um, I, I just am amazed at the talent that is around. All right, this wasn't a planned video. <laughs> Lola's having a good time destroying some packing, but um, I wanted to show you some beautiful things here. My neighbor growing up at my parents' house, they are in their 80s, they're downsizing their house, and she is a beautiful potter. Um, gonna give you a close-up of some of these things. I just have always loved her pottery. <laughs> oh my god. Um, I have always loved her pottery. I have quite a few pieces already, but you know, she's she's getting rid of, she's gotten rid of all of her pottery already. She's not making it anymore. And she knew how much I loved it, so she sent over a whole tote full of some of the pottery she had left. There's some price tags on things because these are things she would have taken to sales and stuff, but um, I couldn't be more ecstatic and I'm not keeping everything. I'm gonna be gifting this forward to some people, but I just wanted to show you while it was here and all together and how beautiful it was. And I'm so sad she's not making pottery anymore, but I'm so happy that she thought of me and sent some of these things my way. Isn't this cool? This is actually um, like an apple baker. You put the apple in the center here and bake it in the oven. I think it's so cool. Little trivet here. This is a butter dish. I'm so excited. She did beautiful work. Some of these things, I'm not quite sure what they are, but um, these are like yarn, yarn bowls. I just love this one. It kind of reminds me of like a whale tail or something, you know? Um, and I think flowers will be beautiful in this, in the summer. Another bowl, another vase, little pots, random plates. So cool. Beautiful, beautiful. And I love this pot. She used to do what's called Reiki. Um, and I'm not sure if this is actually Reiki or not. It looks like it might be because it's kind of iridescent. So she used to collect um, all the fall leaves and things. And while the pottery is still hot, you dunk it in a barrel full of leaves and it creates like different colors and stuff. I'm not sure that that's what this is, but it looked similar to this. She hasn't done it for quite a few years, so I don't think she had very much of that left. Um, just a little decorative plate. And my absolute favorite thing that's gonna live in my garden is this beautiful lady here. Not this beautiful lady, but this beautiful lady. Although this one does also like to live in the garden in the summertime. She's choosing an inopportune time to walk past me here. <laughs> a couple more of those apple baking bowls. This I think she said you could use as a phone holder or like a cookbook holder type of a thing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I just thought you might also appreciate and want to see. This wasn't Marie's typical color palette. 
But I'm so sad that she's given up pottery. Um, but I hope she enjoys her new home and I know she knows that I will cherish these items and pass along some of them to other people who will also cherish them. So thank you, Marie. I am just tickled and especially with my little garden girl here. I just love her. So that moves me on to um, a new company that was started just over a year ago, just down the road from where I am. It's a mother and her two daughters and they started a company called Belmont Wild. Um, they are they do different things, but they um, are focusing on pottery lately. <clears throat> there was a sale last weekend that they were participating in, and they were you know they were promoting the products that they had and things. And one of the items that they had was a berry bowl, and I was like, I need to go get me one of these berry bowls. Um, we were there, I think 20 minutes after they opened, I did manage to get a berry bowl and in less than two hours, they sold out of everything that they brought. Um, you know, like mugs, they had a lot of garden products. So they had like garden markers. They had like, um, little trivet looking things with holes that you could use as kind of like a flower frog. They had little frog, um, containers with lids. They were adorable. Like they make really cute stuff. So this is my beloved berry bowl that I hope you can focus on and see. I think it's super cute. I love the strawberries um, and I can't wait to fill it with berries. And I told them that when I purchased it, I said, I just came for the berry bowl and I'm so glad you're not sold out. So <clears throat> I'm loving local lately, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So um, I think that's all I really had to talk to you guys about today. Um, I'm super behind in the garden. Uh, we've had quite a string of cold, wet, rainy days, and I just, I don't want to do anything outdoors when it's like that. So I think, um, you know, coming up, we're gonna have some sunny days and we'll definitely get doing some stuff in the garden. I do have um, quite a few things I wanna get done. I need to get, you know, the dahlia bed ready. <laughs> um, dahlias are spreading like crazy here. So um, I definitely need to get that ready. And I might experiment with a couple that I have a few extra tubers of and actually plant them directly without, you know, pre planting them in a pot to get them to sprout. Um, I did that a few years ago and had good luck with it. Um, on the odd occasion, it is a little frustrating. You're waiting, 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 and you don't know if anything's wrong with the tuber and you dig it up and sometimes it's rotten and sometimes it's not. But um, so I have kind of taken to liking potting them up, but I'm out of pots. We're growing way more this year than we've ever grown before. So I think some are gonna get like directly, directly sown. Um, I also want to recover back one of the beds in my raised bed garden for vegetables. It's full of perennials. Um, I did plant like a few celery plants in it, but the rest of it is perennial flowers. And I do want to create a garden around our shed area, which is right beside um, where the vegetable garden is. And I'd like to, you know, kind of beautify the area. And that would allow me, you know, two birds, one stone, make it more beautiful there and also get some of the perennials out of that bed and into a permanent location where they can thrive and stay for, you know, the duration of their lives. So um, those are some things that I have coming up that I am going to be working on. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you find the quality much improved. I thank you for watching. I hope you come back and we'll see you next time.